Hey friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Aarti Sharma and in today's video tutorial we will talk about sense strength and anti-sense strength. So as we all know that human DNA is double stranded in nature, right? So which one strand is sense and which one is known as anti-sense we will study in this lecture, right? So let's begin. Let's take a double stranded DNA for example, right? Now just imagine this is our strand number one this is our strand number two your strand number one will undergo transcription right RNA polymerase come and it will bind to your strand number two and it will begin to transcribe your strand number two and after transcription an mRNA molecule will form mRNA polymerase sorry RNA polymerase will come and bind to your strand number 2 at 5 prime end and it will begin to transcribe your strand number 2 and it will form mRNA. Now the strand which undergoes transcription will be known as your template strand while the strand opposite to your template strand will be known as your non-template strand right. So friends, now we are clear with the concept of our template and non-template strand. Let's move further. Now just focus on your mRNA molecule. You can see that the sequence of your mRNA molecule is complementary to strand number 2. Right? It is complementary. mRNA molecule is complementary to strand number 2 while exactly similar to your strand number 1. Why? Because strand number 1 is also complementary to your strand number 2. So when strand number 2 will transcribe into mRNA, the mRNA will be exactly similar to your strand number 1. Now this mRNA is gonna to code for amino acids and it will form protein. So it means by using strand number 1, you can predict about the amino acids like what amino acids are gonna to code for your mRNA by using strand number one you can make a prediction about the coding of your strand right the coding of your template strand so it will tell tell you about the amino acids that are going to code for your mRNA transcribed by your strand number two right so that is why we can call the strand number one as the coding strand while the strand number two as non-coding strand. Is that clear? Why we call strand number one as coding strand? Because it will tell you about the amino acids that are going to be uh, coded for your mRNA. That is why you will call it coding while it's opposite strand as non-coding strand. So as the strand is known as coding strand, that means it makes sense. It makes sense like it will tell you about what amino acids are gonna to code for your strand number two right so that is why your coding strand is known as your sense strand while the opposite strand to the sense strand will be known as your anti sense strand clear because it is opposite to your sense strand that is why we will call it anti sense strand now your sense strand is a strand which makes sense that is why we also call it as positive strand and the opposite strand which does not make any sense but is complementary to your mrna molecule will be known as your negative strand so dear friends now i'm sure you will be clear about these terminologies like what is template and what is non-template strand. The strand which will undergo transcription will be known as your template strand, while the strand opposite to your template strand will be known as your non-template strand, right? Now, your template strand is known as your non-coding strand, while the non-template strand is known as your coding strand. Template strand is your anti-sense strand while non-template strand is your sense strand. It makes sense that's why we call it positive strand. So it is opposite to your sense strand that's why we call it negative strand right. Now your template strand is your is complementary to your mRNA while your non-template strand is exactly similar to your 
mrna right i hope you understand my lecture and thank you so much for watching my video and please don't don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much